The cafeteria is crowded, so Gina has to sit right down next to the Gloria, who has her laptop out. And Gina says, you look unhappy. And Gloria says, yeah, I lo just lost my boyfriend. I shaved his head. And he got a, a, a real bad attitude about it. Yeah, he shaved when he was sleeping. Don't do that. And uh, Gina says, well, I shave uh, guys' heads all the time. And I don't have a problem. They don't get angry. And she says, no. Uh, they uh, pay me for it. I'm a brain surgeon. Oh, my. And she catches sight of a handsome bald guy in his imagery on the laptop. He says, who is he, like a supermodel or something? She says, no, just a handsome bald artist. This is my True Believers flash drive label. I'll find it in with all of my portfolio work that has just me in it. Great wall of evil around me. Find it there and use it for a flash drive label. You, you might have to size it up a little smaller. But it says, uh, if every word ever written about true faith had been erased, was erased, true believers would still hold that faith in their hearts and minds. Oh, check out my eyes. Stigmata eyes. That's what I call them, smaller browner circles slowly disappearing with the help of that white there and the bigger bluer circles going in through and around. Come build Jesus' Immaculate House with these rebuilding eyes. I am Milton, son of a carpenter and Mary. Dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, Mom Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter and Mary. I get to make parables. And when I was growing up, uh, this time around, Dad would tell me, you know, son, you're going to get your blue eyes back. And I'd say, I had blue eyes? And Dad would sigh. And then he'd say, oh, you will get your memory back too, son. www. Daffodilia, D-A-F-F-O-D-I-L-I-A dot blogspot dot com and also cross complex links there, the blogspot where you can find 20,000 plus of my images you gonna find something like, download, print them out like a photo Agena has just walked into the room and Colette says what's that you have in your hand and she looks a little closer and yes it's a image, a graphic art image of a handsome ball guy. And uh, Killett says, oh, it's, you got melt in there. Why does this face have all those holes in it? And Gina says, oh, I rescued it from the angry brunette. They were throwing darts at him. And Kellett goes, well, why are they so angry? Well, look, it has a website on it. Of the image with the handsome ball guy. And yes, they go to the website and they've got March 2018, as well as a whole bunch of cards now. Download, print them out. I am Melton, son of a corporate, married dad a corp, worked on skyscrapers. Mom Mary and I am the son of Corp Mary. I get to make parables and I also get to answer prayers. Uh, all right, who's first? Well, hi, Dad. You look angry. Someone got into your toolbox and took your last lightning bolt. I, I bet it was Lou. I told him. Yeah, Lou Seifer. I told him you didn't want him up here at all. And you sure didn't want him messing around with your toolbox. You've also heard uh, someone telling cheerleaders that they built all this in just one week. Uh, 
once again to Lou. Come get your contact image from Melton. Print out a whole bunch of 4x6 prints, your photo contact image. And yeah, uh, oh, these are all readable. But if you have trouble reading or you would like perhaps a uh, larger card, they come in two to a 4x6 print. And of course, one to a 4x6 print as well. So, all of these, if you have trouble, the, the camera's not focusing good on this phone. Yeah, you use a bigger size. And yeah, you, you're at a bar, you're at a party, girls, and you, you meet Mr. Wright. And uh, you know, if you write down your number on his hand, he's a guy. He's going to lose that number. He's going to smudge it or something. So come get a contact image from Milton. Son of a carpenter and Mary. My imagery can make you look cool. But you got to come see me in person to get it. 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, Department 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. And yeah, don't forget to uh, I'll show you this one to uh, make a video of your hijack call to me. Then come uh, in person, way around censorship. You gotta help me, Tony. You gotta help me. She's my soulmate. We talked for hours. The whole party. She wrote down her name, her number on my hand. And Tony says, well, Tim, did you washed your hand off, didn't you? And Tim says, no. I spilled beer in my hand and it smudged. You got to help me. You got to help me. And uh, uh, Tony says, well, see if this gets helped. We can pass around and surely hot triplets is not a problem to find. And yeah, he's got a sketch going, but yeah. Tim was really, really drunk, and, uh, uh yeah, uh, doesn't look a thing like them, and, uh, if only they had gotten, the girl had gotten a contact image from Melton. Brenda, an angry brunette, is at a college party, and she sees my videos on the big screen TV there, and she says, that's that arrogant doctor who thinks everybody wants to hear his phone conversations. Apparently, she passed me on the street, and I was talking to Amanda, and Amanda kept going on and on, as she says, about how great I am, and how good I am, and how I could uh, heal her grandmother. And uh, that arrogant son of a, uh, well, I won't repeat it, said, I'll see what I can do. You've been very good, Amanda. If you ask me, he's got a Christ complex. Oh, well, no, not yet. And prayers are very private conversations. You shouldn't be eavesdropping. And what do you got against Amanda's grandmother? Yeah, Dad, I really appreciate the good looks and being able to throw lightning bolts and all that. But what I really need is attractive blonde and near blonde girls. Uh, disciples. Long hair and dresses are still in style. Beards are no longer required girls. What I need are those attractive blonde and near blonde girls to do your work here for you. I can't just get by on our good looks. Here is Simon, Flight 93, checking post in 524-229-4140. This uh, parable is set back, this parable bite set back a couple decades or so. And uh, Harry, a son of a carpenter and Mary, has just returned from the bathroom at the hotel to find Jacqueline 
and Bernadette searching for something on the bed and they ask where did you put the coins in and the handsome bald guy Melton says well, well Harry guy back then says uh, oh girls you know when we make love the uh, angels are moved by your beauty and our love making the sing and I pull ecstasy out of the light for you visions of heaven the moving bed was from Lou. He hates to see pain shaken free from my soul. And yes, yeah, sends up a little mini earthquake. That could be your name across that bomb shadow there. Try to call me 424-229-4140 and see the devil. Stealing the opportunity to get that imagery designed. Then come see me in person. I get your nice contact image. See my contact here, think yours. And yeah, you gotta come see me personally, get it. The devil steals your calls. Do that. Stacy is a hairstylist and she's just started to work on Crystal's hair and she apologizes. She says, ever since I started handing out those DVDs full of Melton's imagery with the last month added, it always gets real busy at the first of the month. And Crystal says, well, there's no problem, Stacy. It's worth the wait. But I have a question. If you wanted to shave a man's head, you know, while he slept, what would be the best way to go about that? And Stacy uh, smiles and she says, well, the problem with shaving a man's head is that, you know, a few days later, you're going to have to shave it again. You know, there are some chemicals that can uh, last for much longer and sometimes even permanent amounts of time. And Krista says, great, make an appointment for Adam. Your favorite flowers as forever flowers, girls? Try to call me, 424-229-4140. Let's see that stolen from you. And come see me to get that forever flowers. You can have your car in it. Friends, you can take the photo. I can take the photo. But you got to come see me in person, 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. Your forever flowers. You can be a mouse pad, desktop, once I designed them for you. And they never need watering again. My gift to you. I come see me. Let to get it. Don't fight what we have. You like my imagery? I want you to be in it. I am Melton, son of a carpenter, Mary. A dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom, Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to make parables. And I guess every son feels this way about his dad. Seems to go out of his way to embarrass you. But let me tell you about my dad. What he used to do years ago. Never failed. When he would see you know, a cheerleading squad or several girls from a convent. Uh, he would pull that station wagon over and make the announcement. Behold, this is my son, my gift to you. Yeah, I, I shouldn't be ungrateful. Every once in a while, I've worked with a uh, love connection. The domino effect. Find something good, find something true, find something funny. Pass it along. With videos, with uh, imagery. Oh, not just with uh, flash drives from phones, email, text, and yes, there's that computer too. Pass along what you like until you reach millions, despite censorship. Pass along what's true until you reach millions, despite censorship. Make a video of your hijack call to me, 424-229-4140. 
Whatever you get when you don't get me, it's going to be born, but it's not going to be born. When you need the fire and the police paramedics can get that. So pass it along and make sure you tell everyone to check in post in five. We are at a college party. And Kayla sees Jennifer's phone as she checks her messages. And she says to her, that's a Melton you're using as a phone screen, isn't it? And Jennifer says, yeah. For someone you can't reach by phone because of censorship, he sure is on a lot of phones. And that's true because uh, Jennifer just got my latest nightly parable as well as my latest uh, imagery. And she's sending it on to an ever-growing list of folks on her email and text list. And not only that, Jennifer's been the life of the party she's at because she's got several sets of DVDs on her phone car. They're burning DVDs to hand out as they leave the party. This is a graphic art photo from Melton. It's a photo of a sunset over Eagle Rock, the street right in, out in front of this apartment complex. But, uh, yeah, what it's on. The backdrop here is exactly 4 by 6 so that when you go to print out my stuff, it doesn't get cropped off. Uh, this had a little edge around here and around here and a little on top and a little on the bottom. I cut it off. You don't have to. I laminate it. It makes a nice, uh, more permanent thing. But check out my work on www.christcomplex2, number 2, the digit 2, wixsite.com, slash daffodilia. Ovotruth.blogspot.com has uh, links to it too. A lot of my sites do. Oh. Check it out and uh, download. You'll find something you like, print it out. Pass it along. Emails, text, on DVDs. It's up to you. But uh, yeah, the fact that you can't reach them by phone, 424 229 4140, tells you that you should make a video. That's your family's hijacked lifeline. We the people must be the reporter. You got the number on your phone. You got the time on your phone. Doesn't sync up with our phone records. It's phone gate. So make that video of American Sidejack Lifelines and post it. I am Melton, son of a carpenter, Mary. Daddy carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Marianne. I am the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to make parables. I also get to answer prayers. Who's first? Leo. You'd like. To get on one of those email and text lists so that you can get Melton's latest parable bites and imagery. Well, I don't know about that, Leah. I'm not very tech savvy. You got an email? A text? It's my latest parable bite, the nightly. And it's from Sandra Good Angel. Cassandra, do you have a phone? Are you sure that's a good idea? Because, you know, if something happens to your person while you're uh, talking on the phone, it's okay. You're emailing my imagery and texting to cheerleaders? Okay. I am Milton, son of a carpenter and Mary, daddy carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary, I'm the son of a carpenter Mary. I get to make parables. This is my graphic art. And some of you out there who knew me, uh, all you attractive blonde and near blonde girls who knew me, you know, more than a decade ago, all around the world there, you know why they call me Melton, and so you watch the parables, the uh, parable videos, they call me Melton, because uh, good-looking girls like you uh, like to melt on me, stick my eyes, grow a new body. Try to call me, 424-229-4140. See love stolen with your call. See art stolen with your call. Come see me in person. Let uh, me pull ecstasy out of a photo for you. And yes, those angels over there look bored. Let's have some water and get to know each other. Sherry has just called up Ralph. Long time no see, Ralph. I was wondering if you'd like to do something this weekend. 
Not even if you were the last man on earth? Oh, Ralph. If I said that, it was uh, just because I was cranky, you know, all those cheerleader practices and studying. So do you want to get together or not? Great. You do have Melton's latest imagery for this month and uh, it's funny parables as well. Good. Hey guys, you're going to strike out nine times out of ten, all you on those college campuses. Take me along, hand out those DVDs, and think of it as handing out a business card to do future business with. Sophia and Tanya, two girl Americans, are in a bar. And Tanya saying to Sophia, you won't believe my last lover. She insisted that I take down my shirtless handsome melt, uh, handsome ball guy uh, poster. She didn't want to uh, watch Melton's funny parable videos be before we, you know, went to the bedroom, you know, to kind of get in the mood. And you won't believe the way she pouted the first time I accidentally called out. Oh, Melton. And Sophia says, Oh, that's okay, honey. You're with me now. And I'm glad you talked me into shaving my head. I really like the look. Try to call me. 424-229-4140. See Jesus as a mackerel at house. See truth. Stolen. Censored. It's also your lifeline being censored, so make a video if you had that call to me, 424-229-4140, and certify your mail as well, 4260. Eagle Rack Boulevard, apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. Come see me person. Tell me that best place to build. Jesus is a Maclean house. Best people to start building with. Tear down the Great Wall of People has just me and all my imagery. 20,000 plus at youtube.com slash DNFD series. And daffodilia.blogspot.com www.daffodilia.blogspot.com Tear down the Great Wall of Evil. Be here instead of these flowers. Be a part of building a better world. Anya and Sophia are on their way back to their apartment and they run into Ta. And Tanya says, So how's that brand new car of yours? And Todd says, well, uh, finally got out of, the, out of the garage for a week and somebody stole it. And Todd says, well, that's too bad, but, you know, at least you got that new stone cold shave look going on. And uh, Todd says, well, it's not by choice. I, I got cancer. It's chemotherapy making me bald. And uh, Tanya says, you got cancer, but you're, you're 20 years old. Yeah, it surprised the doctor, too. When I had that heart attack, he was uh, running some tests and told me, uh, yeah, you got cancer. And then when uh, Sophia and Tanya get back to the apartment, Sophia says that's why you don't hang around with impersonators. They're uh, always getting struck by those uh, lightning bolts. I am Melton, son of a carpenter, married dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom, Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to tell parables. Oh, I, Sandra. Sandra is a guardian, guardian angel. What's so funny, Sandra? Some of the other angels were uh, uh, arguing about what was my better imagery. The sun sets, my better graphic, or sunsets, the clouds, the uh, flowers, the skyline imagery and then it kind of got into uh, what's the best feature of the handsome ball guy the son of carpenter mary the uh, face or the chest and oh they got physical did they the, the flowers i mean the uh, feathers were uh, flying everywhere oh sandra you know my good work uh, painting I can do that with graphic art tell them to tell their people to come see me so I can and Melton son of a carpenter Mary dad a carpenter worked on skyscrapers mom Marianne 
I'm the son of a carpenter. I get to make parables. And I also get to answer prayers. Who's up first? Okay, Kayla. You are a talent agency. You got a big account. And there's only one model who's perfect for the photo shoot, but you can't reach him by phone. Well, I'm sorry, I can't help you out there, Kayla. If you can't reach me by phone, 424-229-4140, you're just going to have to come see me in person. Uh, yeah, for all you other uh, talent scouts out there, uh, I'm aspiring as a supermodel, but you got to come see me in person. 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, Apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. Please, don't peck my eyes out. I'm growing a new pair. I'll check out my uh, videos on youtube.com slash DNFD series. Used to be all dark brown, now they're slowly but surely changing. Smaller, browner circles disappearing. Bigger, bluer circles growing in through and around. Come tell me what you think of my eyes in person because when you try to call me, 424 229 4140. You see the devil. A stealing. Oh, here's something better. You're called him. So, uh, come see me in person. And let's get started. Building a better world with these eyes. Professor Foot walks into class and announces that he has been performing an experiment. With the help of Brenda, an angry brunette, he asked her in return for extra points to dye her hair blonde. She agreed, and Professor Foote announces that, yes, he's talked to a lot of folks who know a Brenda, and they say she has been much more easygoing the past week since she dyed her hair. And he says, here's the real test. You remember last week when I played one of Melton's nightly uh, parables? She carried on and cussed him out the whole class. He plays the next uh, video in the class, one from uh, this week of Melton's nightly. And uh, sure enough, uh, Brenda is laughing louder than everybody else in that class. We are at a college party. And Adam is screaming at his friend. I'm tired of hearing about that stupid son of a carpenter Mary and his dumb Tommy parables. And Tony says to Ray, I think it's time for an intervention. And Tony holds Adam down as Ray shaves his head. An hour later, Adam is laughing at those Tommy parables on that big screen TV. And uh, Tony asks him, what do you think about the Obama rumor? That Obama is Osama's son. And uh, Adam says, oh, I, I definitely can see it right there around the eyes. Uh, Jessica and Christine are arguing. Uh, they're a pair of hot blonde college cheerleader twins. They're arguing. What's the coolest? His sunglasses or his shaved head? Oh, agree on the imagery, girls. And come get some for yourself. 424 That's why you got to come see me in person. The devil steals your calls. I'm going to make a video of that. I'm one flight 93 check of America's life on nine years of asking. No certified mail is either. either. And, uh, yeah, 4260 Eagle Boulevard, apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. That's where to come to get your favorite flowers uh, turned into forever flowers. Do that. Gina and Molly are two girl Americans. 
and Gina has just woken Molly up in the middle of the night. She says you were having an erotic dream. And I'm jealous. It wasn't that brunette bitch from our yoga class, was it? And Molly smiles and she says, oh no, nothing like that. I was out in the middle of a beautiful meadow. And Melton rolled up wearing nothing but his sunglasses and his wraparound underwear. And he said, I picked these flowers just for you, Molly. Will you be in my imagery? Viram Video. A more honest world because of the ever present eyes and ears of technology. Yeah, it means uh, that dishonest businessman is less likely to bilk grandma and grandpa out of cash by padding the bill if he's not sure if grandma and grandpa have that audio maker on their phone going or that video maker and yes with those uh, those uh, video cameras on every street corner in every business yes a more honest world because of the ever-present eyes and ears of technology I am Milton, son of a carpenter, Mary, dad of carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom, Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter, Mary, I get to make parables. And I also get to answer prayers. All right, who's first tonight? Theodore? You were on a cruise on an unsinkable ship. It hit an iceberg and it sank. Now it's very very cold fish keep bumping into you and you're waiting to be picked up hold on Theodore uh, Sandra get your scuba gear and go pick this guy up he sounded Catholic tell him that was purgatory congratulations he made it get him a nice cloud and some dry wings to show him the ropes at a college party. Kennedy is a girl who gets my work worldwide on class drives, on DVDs, and with photos like these. She is talking to the party as she shows them a video of me. And she says this is the one and only Melton. Stone Cold Melton, son of a carpenter Mary. John Melton breaks his full name. Yes, he is growing a new pair of eyes and a whole new body. The devil has countless impersonators across California, across America, across the world. Uh, some are laughable, like the Mormons, the pod people. Others are very similar, but yeah, there's only one of them. Not many taking turns. He's opportunity. Go see him. He's an eagle rock. You'll find false addresses. You'll find them using his imagery, those impersonators. Go see the one and only. Be in his imagery, his videos. We are at a college party. And Katie is handing out portfolio cards. Milton's portfolio cards just like these things. And she explains that she's doing a little experiment on what will affect them all after college. Censorship of the phones when your customers can't reach you and you can't reach your customers. That, of course, is money out of our pockets. So is not reaching the websites, our business websites. I've written my number, Katie tells him, I've written my number on the backs of these contact cards, these portfolio cards. Call me up. Let me know if you could reach Milton's imagery and download those 20,000 photos that are his portfolio. If not, I'll burn you a couple of DVDs of them. I'll do that, guys. It's going to affect you after college. Come see me in person. 
is a video series about a man who loses both of his arms from being blindly obedient. It happens he is oriental. It could just as easily have been a Polish guy or a Swedish guy or an Eskimo. Now as this video starts, we are at a college party. And Wang's telling his friends about his girlfriend Rita. He had to break up with her. She was obsessed with the Tommy. A parable series by the son of the carpenter. Mary, dad of carpenter, worked on Scott Scraper's mom, Mary Ann. I'm the son of carpenter, Mary, get to tell parables. He says he was always talking about that Tommy parable of the day, and she uh, was attracted to me because I walk around with my hands in my pockets. And Jennifer says, well, let me guess. Uh, you woke up and she shaved your head? And he said, no. I shaved my head because it looks cool. I woke up and she was trying to start a chainsaw in our bedroom. Nancy and Lucy have just sat down at a table in a restaurant and Nancy says, I don't think this is going to work. Why would Professor Foote be talking about the final exam in a restaurant eating dinner? And how are we supposed to hear him? He's way over there on the other side of the restaurant. And Lucy says, Oh, don't worry about it. I know how to read lips. Shh. Uh, he's talking right now. And he says, uh, I'm going to fail half the class with my final. Here's what I'm going to put on it. And then he pauses and then he says, Lucy, you shouldn't be reading my lips. I know you're doing that in class because... Uh, yeah, you're listening to Melton, handsome ball guy. Roger has been traveling and he stayed overnight at a friend of his, Ralph's. And in the morning they're eating breakfast and Ralph asks, you know, how'd you sleep, Roger? And Roger said, to be honest, I didn't sleep very well. Were you watching a Tarzan movie last night? And uh, Ralph says, no. Uh, Oh, uh, I think I know what you mean. You see, I got a mouse, and the mouse has Chinese balls. And just then, out of a little a hole in the baseboard, a little mouse comes running across the kitchen floor, climbs up the leg of the, uh, the table, grabs a piece of bacon, and lets out a huge roar, and then runs back into... It's got be hole there. Yeah, that's Chinese balls. I remember girls. Bald goes with blonde. Uh, sharp looking hats too. Come see me. Let me design you some beautiful imagery. That's a nice contact image. Try to call me first, 424. 229-4140 See censorship. See that image stolen. Then come see me in person. Let me pour ecstasy out of a photo for you. Your favorite flowers? Your friends, your car, that nice sunset, that nice cloud. This parable is a look into the future. When someone's torn down the great wall of evil that has just me, the handsome ball guy, son of a carpenter Mary, and all of my imagery, 20,000 plus, to be found at a lot of these sites. We are at a college party, and Kayla and Celeste are telling everyone about their trip to the Immaculate Mansion. On the way to building Jesus' Immaculate House. Yeah, this is the Immaculate Apartment I'm commonly and patiently waiting in for you to tear down that great wall of evil. And they tell about all the imagery designed and how uh, the lucky inner circle disciples. I got to have that ecstasy pulled out of the light business of heaven and all that. And they got some nice shirtless handsome ball guy posters. Uh, and uh, cards to go around telling everyone, yeah, go be in Melton's imagery, Newport of Building, with his growing eyes 
Jesus is immaculate house. My Milton's image about the alteration of my imagery and my videos and my parables. Yes, I'm Milton, so I'm Carpenter Mary. Daddy Carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom Mary Ann. I'm the son of Carpenter Mary. I get to make parables. I get to design beautiful imagery. Come see me first. Be in this imagery when you try to call me. 424-229-4140. And you see the devil. Yeah, doing that, altering my parables, and also hijacking your call to me. When you see that, come see me in person. 4260 Rock Boulevard, Park 49, Los Angeles, California, 90065. When you see someone other than Melton, hey, handsome bald guy, in my imagery, when you see someone other than me, we start building Jesus' is a Michael's house. Here on earth, be a part of that. In person. Sister Charlotte sees Mr. Adams after church and goes over to thank him. She says that was so thoughtful to make sure that all the nuns have cell phones. And the beautiful photos you put on those phones, it, it, they're just incredible. And Mr. Adams says, well, you're welcome, but I didn't put any imagery on your phone. Oh, yeah, that's dead. Yeah, he puts that stuff on my fridge, too. Remember, if you like that imagery, come see me in person. Get that free nun or cheerleader discount. Perhaps that Bible verse you like or your favorite saint. Come see me in person. Get some imagery design. We are at a college party, and Katie says to Polly, Where's Pete? And Polly says, Well, we had a little accident. He, uh, he wanted to try his hair blonde. And uh, he asked me to help him do it, and... Yeah, I must have misread the directions, and uh, instead of turning blonde, his, his hair just fell out. And uh, Katie says, well, that's unfortunate, but uh, uh, yeah, I've been trying to get uh, Carl to go with the uh, Stone Cold look for some time. Can you tell me how to misread the directions? Oh, girls, please don't shave your man's head while he sleeps, and don't dye his hair bald. He's not going to look like me. See my contact? I'm Melvin, son of a corporate Mary. Daddy Corpner worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary Ann. I'm son of a corporate Mary. I get to make parables and I also do a little graphic artwork. And when you see my contact, think your contact, your phone, your email, your address. And yeah, not only can you print your stuff out for some nice tabletop art, uh, one of them's all fallen down down there. It, it can be windy and those are just paper clips. You can use a, an actual frame if you want. <coughs> or you can yeah, put some pennies on the back of those paper clips. Come see me. Get your nice desktop image with your favorite bird or your favorite flowers or your friends, your family, or your car. But you got to see me in person. Do that. Molly and Polly are two hot blonde twins, and they've each gone to different colleges. They've just gotten back home for the summer, and Molly says to Polly, is everybody on your campus talking about a handsome ball guy, son of Carpenter Mary? And she says, yeah. And then she goes on to say, you know, I'm bored. And their mom calls out from the kitchen, you know, if you're bored, you should go see your Uncle Jack in Los Angeles. He could use the company. And you can do some sightseeing. Oh, girls, forget about Uncle Jack. Can he define graphic art with the four of you? I mean, the two of you. 
Peer leaders, I checked the process, not knowingly, but uh, it does work. I'd gotten a memory card for a new camera I'm hoping to get today. It got delivered to the door there, and I heard somebody calling out Melton. This guy was yelling Melton, and I hoped it was my. Say, come open the door. Uh, I went down, there's nobody there but residents, and somebody with a package there, they'd have let them in. And... But yeah, it works. Uh, I, I'm still waiting on the uh, the call box out there, and I don't know if it'll work, if it'll reach this phone, but yeah. When you call out Melton, make sure you say your hot blondes or your cheerleaders or you'd like to talk to me about my imagery or this, that, the other, and I'll be right down. I took some photos while I was out. I took some photo, uh, photo of uh, this beautiful flower with a nice shadow there. Well, I was out uh, a while back, and yeah, uh, he yelled to come down, I'll be there. You got 12 flowers, your favorite flowers, you'd like to turn into a year? Come see me. Let me design your flowers into that calendar. Uh, yeah, you're going to have trouble reaching me by phone, 424-229-4140. So, uh, come see me in person. And yeah, make a video of your stolen call. And uh, any mail you're going to send because it's going to be stolen. Make that video. Post that video. And come see me in person. Tell me what do you want on your contact image. Or your calendar. I am Melton, son of a carpenter Mary, dad of carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, mom Mary Ann. I am the son of a carpenter Mary. I get to make parables. And I also get to answer prayers, alright? Who's first tonight? Well, hello there, Molly. What are you praying about? You snuck out of the house to play with your friend. Well, that's not good. You know that's not a, the right thing to do. And you got lost. And then a big dog started barking at you and chased you up a tree. Molly, are you a cat? Well, don't worry, hang on. I got my best angle, angel, Sandra, on the way, so he's going to get you down. I am Milton, son of a carpenter Mary. Dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom, Mary Ann. I am the son of a carpenter Mary. I get to tell parables, and I also get to answer prayers. All right. Who's up first tonight? Bruno. You thought you heard an intruder. You went outside to check on things, and it turned out to be a cat. You barked at her, and you chased her up a tree, and now you want me to uh, knock her out of the tree for you. I'm sorry, Bruno, you're too late. I had Sandra rescue Molly last night. Uh, no, I'm not going to open the gate for you so you can chase the mailman. Uh, no, I do not have a doggy treat. Okay. But uh, just one. Good boy.